Hi guys, welcome to a video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal and today I'm going to show you a collection of glass paperweights that I've bought in and we're going to take a look at some of the prices some paperweights can pull. Um, for example, um, if I stand over here, I'll start showing you some prices. Uh, this is just a highest price search on eBay and you'll see some of the background glitchy paperweights and that pull thousands of pounds for one single paperweight. Um, I think a St. Louis one, a couple of thousand, background one, a couple of thousand, that's a high end. You get them all the way down into the hundreds. A white fryer's example, guys, can be anything from £100, about four, or £500. Even Victorian dumps. Um, if you take a look, there's a, quite a variety of Victorian dump glass paperweights. Um, some of them uranium, some not. But they have all different designs, some have animals inside them, and even they can pull good money. Now, you don't have to have antique and early paperweights to pull big monies. Some of them, 1990s, and they're still pulling five, six hundred pounds. Um, a white fryer's one from uh, 1977, I sold back about three years ago for 200 pounds. So paperweights are a really easy thing uh, to make good money on, if you can find them. Now, they're beautiful, they're small to collect, uh, so they don't take up a lot of room, and some of the designs are absolutely amazing. There's such a variety. So it's a really good area if you um, you want to collect something small. Now there's specialist books on paperweights. I've got a few. Um, if I remember, I'll put a few ISBNs into the description of some of the paperweight books I've got. And I'll have a little search, see if you can find a few um, decent ones as well. Now I'm going to show you the collection I bought today. Um, it all came in from Spot Market. Now the gentleman had probably 100 paperweights. And they ranged from £2 to £3 each. I selected the ones I wanted. Um, he probably had two or three times this amount left. But they were all uh, sort of cheap Chinese copy ones. Um, not to say that some of these are not Chinese. But they're the better of them. Um, so I took what I wanted. I left the rest. Um, but I'm going to show you now some of the paperweights. So have a look at them. And then we'll do a couple of prices as well as we go in. And then uh, you can see what you think. So I'll see you in a minute, guys. Okay, guys. So these are the paperweights I purchased. I'll have to excuse the mess around me. I haven't really got the right area for filming these at the moment. Now, anybody who wants to photograph and make money on paperweights, you need to get yourself a light box. And the light has to come from underneath the paperweight. So get yourself a square frame, bit of glass on the top, bit of white paper on there, and put the light inside. And when you sit the paperweight on top, the light travels through the glass and you get a perfect picture. Anyway, we're going to have a little look at some of these. They come in varying sizes and shapes and colours. So you've got this type here, which is probably a Caithness. Can't see the signature, but it looks like a Caithness. Pretty standard pattern for a Scottish paperweight. Some of these are quite beautiful. Again, I'd say that's a Scottish one, looking at that. This one I actually thought was Wedgwood. Couldn't see a signature on there, but it looked like a Wedgwood bird. So they also come in animal forms. But this is more just to give you a look at how beautiful some of these are. Um, a few of them are signed. Don't know which ones are and which ones aren't. I bought them based on quality, to be totally honest with you. Now, none of these are in... Uh, well, there's only one good one. None of them are in the range of, you know, three figures plus. These are all sort of 10 to 20 pound paperweights, but they are really attractive. Nice colours. And again, there's another Keith Ness. That one is actually signed. But look at that beautiful cobalt blue. What a rich colour. This one I quite like. I'm not sure who this one is. But it's quite nice. I love the yellows. And I love the way it's all sort of waved in there. Now this one here is my favourite paperweight of them all. I'll show you that one at the end. Look at that. It's just like a flower head. Beautiful. This one is signed in the middle. Not sure who that is. 
looks like TVG I have to look that up and again this one is signed but again I don't know who that is so there's a bit of research needed for them oh there's that beautiful color again look at that color as I've said they're pretty standard paperweights but for two and three pound each the entire collection owes me 45 pounds So I'm not sure if that's um, another signature of Keith Ness glass to be honest with you because that I would have swore was Keith Ness so I'll have to look that up see if it's a Scottish make some of them are going to be Chinese copies I'm no doubt like this but it is still a nice example of a paperweight come on to the larger ones then these are all Chinese I think but look at that beautifully done beautiful flower insert into the glass if I can't get 20 quid for that something wrong as with this one again spectacular quality and these are large paperweights we put this next to you can see the size and that's next to it so they've got to be sort of 20 25 pound each at the back There's some good work in some of these but again I think Chinese looking at that you got a couple of Medina horses these are signed Maltese glass horses both of them are signed And then we come down here and we have some lucite paperweights. Now these are like a resin or plastic paperweight with flowers and things inset. And would you believe these are pulling 20 and 30 pound each for plastic. There you go, it's a Hafford Grange. I'll put um, a couple of screenshots of them now in a moment. Just for you to have a look at some of them uh, lucite paperweights. They pull good money. Uh, was that one? Hippocampus. I think that's the flower. Embedments. Well, that looks like um, the Waterford uh, mark, but we'll have to look that one up. So, the Lucite ones, I know they're 20 25 pound each. The ones across the back there, the large ones, they're going to be sort of 20 to 25 each. The horses are sort of 12 to 15 pound each. If I said sort of £12 each for all these smaller ones and the bird, £12. And then we have this one, which I think is something special. Now this one is all twisted canes and as you can see the almost lattice work and gold leaf. I think this one's a Murano. It's really nice. It's a large one, again, large size. not signed it's a tiny chip on the foot rim as you can see there but it's really nice quality now this one's got potential of being sort of 50 60 70 pounds on his own so we'll have to look this one up if it is a Murano one we're uh, we're happy with that so that's where we're at guys what did I have? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 paperweights for £45. And to be honest with you, I'm in profit off that. Without, even if I can't prove it as Murano, I'm in profit off that one. Then you sort of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, about £230, give or take, 250 for my £45 outlay. And that's on bog standard paperweights. You get some really nice ones and you're talking hundreds each. Now I absolutely love paperweights, I really do. And I'll always look to buy them. Now I don't buy the run of the mill standard ones with the little birds and that in. I'll buy an aquarium one if I see an aquarium one so don't get them confused. Um, but I have started buying all the loose side ones I can find. 
they'd sort of 20, 30 quid, and believe it or not, because they're plastic, people sell them for 50 pence each and 20 pence each at car boot sales. They don't realise. They think these plastic ones with the flowers in are worthless, and there's no money in them, but it is the 20s and 30 pounds, guys. So don't leave them behind. Look out for the Victorian dumps with the animals in. They're a couple of hundred pounds. They're really nice. And obviously, if you can get yourself a Bacra, Clitchy, Whitefriars, St. Louis, one of the top names, then you're talking serious money. Not all paperweights are signed. A lot of them came with paper labels. So you then got the difficulty then of identification of them off the design. However, I'm pretty confident there will be specialist groups for paperweights on Facebook. In fact, I may even, it may even have a look and put it into the description if I can find one. But that's me guys, um, it's a couple of hundred pound minimum there, return for my 45 pounds. Uh, to be honest with you, my money should be back straight away off the one Murano one, that shouldn't take long to sell. The others will come in the shop, yeah, be priced up and there's only one good enough there for eBay, the rest will come into the shop and be sold as decorative pieces. So I'm really pleased, it's good profit, it's good shelf filler, and everybody loves a paperweight. Everybody loves how pretty they are and how useful they are, guys. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look. I think it's a beautiful little collection. I could have had three, four times that much, but I didn't want all the £1 ones and that. They just didn't do nothing for me. I bought the ones I liked. And to be honest with you, in antiques and collectibles, if you buy what you like and you can't sell it, you can live with it yourself. So always a good way to look at it. Guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.